Hello everyone, this is Darwell20 and welcome to episode 61 of Modern Skyblock 3. Today, we're going on an adventure. Ladies and gentlemen, we're heading into the Aether. Uh, last episode, we got hooked up with a portal to the Aether. Uh, and today, I'd like to go to the Slider's Labyrinth uh, and visit the Valkyrie Queen. And perhaps, uh, A, knock out this quest chapter, and B, just do a little exploring around the, the Aether. It's, uh, it's been literally years since I've looked at this mod. Um, no idea what kind of stuff to expect out there. And kind of excited to check it out. So let's do it. We're heading in. I don't know if I need any specific gear or anything. Um, you know, we'll uh, we'll see what's up. So apparently, uh, and according to the quests, uh, which just decided to not remember where I was a minute ago, um, you may find a labyrinth in a cave. At the end of it is a lighter. You can only attack it with a pickaxe. So that's quest one. And quest two is the Valkyrie Queen. Uh, it's temple-like structures floating in the sky, which I think we've already found. To be able to battle her, you need to obtain ten victory medals uh, from, I guess, her minions. Now, I'm wondering if the Aether's um, time is tied to the overworld's time? So is it nighttime in the overworld also? And if so, can I take a nap and make it daytime in the Aether? Because that would be kind of cool. Because it's definitely nighttime over here. Jetpack engine enabled. Jetpack engine disabled. Jetpack engine... Okay. Now we go. So hopefully it's daytime in the Aether now. Dun, 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 dun. Daytime? Yeah, that's what's up. All right, so the Aether's uh, day-night schedule follows the overworld. Neat. All right, so basically what we're looking for is some kind of cave at the end of which... We will find what we want, which is the lighter. Now, obviously, like, I already know where the Valkyrie thing is, so I kind of like to get the lighter one knocked out first because the Valkyrie one hopefully would be pretty easy to get going on, but we'll see. Ooh, what are, are those those? Oh, hello. What do we have here? <gasps> Flying cows. That is awesome. I want one. What is that noise? What what is what is this stuff? Skyroot leaves? Is that what's causing these like particle effects around here? That's cool. Skyroot logs. Yes, I know it's the wrong tool. Nifty. Golden oak saplings, huh? Hmm. Nifty. That's cool. Uh, all right, so let's get ourselves uh, that has pink slime and a moa and a moa in it. Let's get ourselves another gas tier so I can get another one of these. Infinite energy is low, so I've been told. How low is it? It's in the 1k units range. All right, so we should actually be really conservative with our infinite energy card because I think that was like 3 or 4k last time we checked it out. Uh, so probably smart not to use that infinite energy thing too often. So we've got these gems. Oh, hello, what's this ice stone? Neat. Okay, cool. So what's ice stone do? Oh, it's a common ore. It can be used as fuel for a freezer. It can also be used to freeze nearby liquids such as lava and water. That's cool. Um, and there's obviously other types of ore that are somewhat common looking, so I'm not too worried about them. Let's see if we can find any kind of a cave that would have a lighter in it. Hmm. Ow. What? Morganite glow roads. Oh, okay, so that's from Silent Gems. Neat. It is a very lovely looking dimension though, if I'm being honest. Like, it is really nice looking. Hmm. This is not a natural cave, really. It looked like one. Oh wow, there's a lot of those glowing trees there. That's so cool. 
I think that's another temple. That's separate from the one we already found, right? I believe that to be the case. How about I'm... Oh, wait, 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 wait. What's this? Is this just a natural... Oh, hello. This might be it. I was literally about to say, how about we come back in a minute uh, once I find what I'm looking for. What? I think that's just a creeper with a hat. So this is holly stone, huh? And gravitite ore? I remember that stuff being rare and hard to find. Wasn't that rare and hard to find ore? Gravitite ore? Rarest ore. Ha ha! Told you! Dyer knows what he's talking about. Float upward when there's nothing above it. These can be enchanted into enchanted gravitite blocks. Neat. That's cool. I'll have to look for more of that stuff. Well, that LiDAR wasn't hard to find. I'm used to, like, the Twilight Forest, where it's like, you have to go in this dungeon and you spend half an hour finding yourself uh, the heart of the dungeon. Uh, but I feel like... Whoa, hello. What is that? What was that? Mm. What do we got here? Sentry stones? Neat. Cool. I know, I know, I'm not supposed to be keeping this thing open for too long, but... I can't resist. I wanted all the things. Hello, lots of bad guys. Run away! Oh, hello, you're a mimic. Haha! <laughs> that is awesome. Did I get him? I think the Mimic was a quest, wasn't it? Wasn't the Mimic a quest? No, it's just a walking storage. Okay. That's open, uh, open blocks. Neat. And I do know the, the, the lie, the, the thing there that I have to kill is like right there. Oh, look at that. Sweet. Some ambrosium torches. I can throw away a confusing powder and solidify experience, right? I don't need any of those things. Hey, another mimic. Sneaky. Fallen knight. Sneaky, sneaky. Alright, let's put away... Ooh, blueberries. Not eaten yet. What does it taste like? I don't know. Let's find out. Uh, nope, can't find out. Let's put away some junk. Stuff that we really don't need. I'm sure I have loads of that stuff back home. All right, let's take out this this dude. So you can only damage him. Hmm, perhaps I need to attack it with a pickaxe. Yeah, that's what I'm doing, chief. Somebody tell me. Uh, sure. Maybe. Oh yeah, hello. I see, I see. Okay, no, I get it, I get it. He only slides. See? He slides in a, in a horizontal position. The, the, the control of this jetpack is very hard to get right. So I think with the jetpack being off, we're going to be in a better position. Be clear yeah no I can't attack it with my modded picks all right I think I've got the pattern down mostly I've got it down it's just you have to be smart about it and ow I wonder if there's like a perfect spot I can stand where he won't be able to move with me probably not Keeping the 
corners. Wow, this thing is not... I mean, to be fair, I could be... Can I do that? That doesn't seem to help too much. Your best damage is like three, but the pickaxe takes a long time to come back up. So, anybody got any good stories? Can you tell? Or we can kill this thing. Come on. Oh boy, he's angry. He's angry. Okay, never mind. He's no longer boring. He's a little angry. Hold on. I know I'm attacking with a pickaxe. Oh boy, wow, that thing is fast. I've got him on the ropes. What's up? Nice! Like a boss -roo. That is cool. Hey, what's that? Trapdoor. Neat. Uh, bronze key from Aether Legacy. Alright, what's that do? A dull key that is dropped from the slider after being defeated. You can use it to claim the treasure you earned. Do I need the key to open? To open this chest. Neat! Agility cape, Valkyrie lance, hammer of notch, and two phoenix bows. Can I equip this? Is this like a bauble of some kind? Where did where did that just go? Is that in here? Oh look, neat, cool, agility cape. Sweet! I gotta figure out uh what Moa Customizer, okay. Uh, so let's see what these guys do. Uh, a slightly rare cape, it can be seen in bronze and silver dungeons. It makes the wearer's legs stronger, therefore they can walk up blocks instantly. Sweet. Uh, that is not... Hey. Hey, inventory desync. Stop. Stop being that. A mighty hammer, which shoots heavy projectiles and mobs. It said that Notch actually held this hammer. <laughs> Neat. I like it. Uh, what else did we get? A neat phoenix bow. Found as a dungeon loot, the bow is very heated and can shoot flaming arrows. It's warm to the touch. And then the Valkyrie Lance. A tool unique to the silver dungeon, this long-range weapon is very good for defeating Zephyrs and Valkyrie Queens. Hey! Guess what I'm gonna be, uh, doing pretty soon? Exactly that! Nice! Alright, so let's, um... So there's the waypoint out of here, and there's what appears to be some kind of Valkyrie thingy. Should we go do it? I don't see why not, right? I have plenty of food. Um, part of me wants to put away some junk that I may not need at the moment. How many of these uh, 1k units still? Alright, so if I'm being like really careful, I'm okay. Whoosh. All right, what's this place all about? Oh my goodness, with all the junk. Hello, another mimic. I like these guys. Angelic stone. Hello. Hey, that's cool. A flute. Golden dart shooter. Neat. Hey, it looked like a flute. What do you want from me? Iron pendant, ambrosian torch. What I should have brought is an ender pouch of some description so that I can, you know. And things. Neat. Uh, I don't know if I'm going to need my bow. If I need my bow, I'll take it out, but we'll see. What I can do is just use you as a junk chest. Uh, since I have two Phoenix bows, I think I'll just put one away. And if I ever need it, they'll be here to get. And same for the dart launcher. I don't think I need more than one golden dart launcher. And an iron pendant? What can I do with that? Uh, I can make it an ice pendant by freezing it. Cool. Uh, you can go away. All this junk. I'm just trying to keep my inventory clean because who knows what we're about to encounter. Not seeing any, uh... Oh, I spoke too soon, apparently. I'm not going easy on you. I'm not going easy on you. I got a Valkyrie Lance. How's that? Uh, 
Oh yeah. All right, I give up. You win. That's right. Oh, fine. Here's your medal. Sweet victory medals. I got three of them. Nice. All right, so I guess I have to kill ten of those dudes. I wonder if that lance is actually better than um, Skyroot Poison Bucket and Xanite Boots. Neat. No idea. Oh, another one. So how much damage do you do, Sword? I mean, I, I feel like the Valkyrie lands, as nice as it is, just ain't as good as my Flux and Fuse Sword. Five victory medals. This will be my sixth. Assuming I win this very challenging fight. Oh, I won it. To be fair, I've got some pretty OP armor and gear. So, you know. Uh, just putting that out there. I have some pretty good stuff on me. So it's not it's not it's not like I'm the best fighter in the world. It's that I have some good gear. I'm not going on easy on you either. Oh, hello. What is this place? This is cool. Valkyrie Queen. Uh, what can you tell me about this place? I wish to fight you. Bring me tells from a duh. I'll return when I have them. Okay. Take your time. She's awfully confident, isn't she? She is the queen of the Valkyries, to be fair. Alright, what do we got going on here? I need some more Valkyries. Definitely been in all these places already. This place is a little confusing. Hello, there's another one. Now you're in for it. Haha, <laughs> I beg to differ. One more after this one, and then we should be cool, right? That's nine. Yep. Oh, hello. I'm gonna regret it. You're gonna regret it. What's up? Quest updated, Valkyrie Queen. Nice. All right, let's uh, clean up loots a little bit, if we may. So I feel like... We're gonna wanna go up here. Put away some junk stuff that I don't need at the moment. That seems fair. And then was it down here? That that queen lady was at? Here, queenie. Got your stuff. I'm ready. I have the medals right here. Let's do it. Now let's begin. All right, let's go. I'm not going to hit first. Are we fighting, or is this how we fight? Psst, this is the part where we fight. Oh, strike at any time. Okay. 236 goes down to what? Um, 206? 198. 190. So roughly 8 per hit. So what does this do? 182 goes down to 178. 175. Yeah, no, this, this sword is way better. I'm sure you feel like flying has somehow gotten you an advantage, but it really hasn't. You're just getting knocked back away from me. What's this blue ball thing? Oh, hello. I hit it and lightning struck. That was cool. Hey, what's up? Dethroned. You are truly a mighty warrior. That's not really true. I just truly have a lot of, uh... Hey, quest completed, unlocked. Nice, silver key. Which I assume, and golden sword. That's just a vanilla Minecraft golden sword? Okay. So would it be fair to assume that I use that to unlock that? Cool. Valkyrie chestplate, helmet, invisibility cloak. Neat. Uh, does that actually make me invisible? Because that's neat. 
Yeah. I like it. Um, water walking. Nice. And then... When fully worn, you are granted temporary flight. Quite useful for getting to high places. Neat. Well, I kind of have that already, so I'm cool with that. Can I... Ooh, I can break this angelic stone now. That's neat. I don't know if I'm going to want it for anything, but I'm going to snag it. I would now like to go home, please. So that unlocks a whole new quest line, which is cool. That's right, the bouncy blocks. Uh, so we've unlocked, uh, we've completed the Aether quests, um, and I assume that's all there is to do in the Aether, is kill those two bosses, right? I think that's all there is to do. So let's put away all this nifty stuff that we got. That's good. Okay. All that stuff goes away, including the Book of Lore, and we're back to all our gadgets. So, we now have a quest to unlock. So if we go back here, these two are done, right? And I've just given up on loot chests at this point, because there's nothing useful in them that I've found thus far. Um, and we've unlocked Blood Magic. Nice. And I think Evil, Evil something... Uh, evil craft, yes, and blood magic. Dun dun dun. Evil craft and blood magic are completed. That is cool. All right. So with that taken care of, now that means that we have access to blood magic type stuff, which is nifty. So so let's planish out our course of action. So that also got us closer to environmental technology. We just need a killer friend, which I believe is probably the killer Joe. Um, Let's just let's just see in the Ender IO quest line. Thermal Ender Machinery. Can we just make Killer Joe right now and that'll complete the quest? Or do I need to do something else? A killer friend requires the vat. Uh, the vat. We can make a vat and then we can make Killer Joe. And that'll unlock some cool stuff. Um, so we're going to want... Let's get a stack of that. Let's get two of these. Let's get an ender machine block. Do I really not have one of those? I probably don't. Do I have any of that industrial? Yes. Yeah, simple machine chase chassis. Yes. So these guys can go together. Cool. The vat. And then we just need electrical steel and a furnace. And then we're gonna want some coal dust. Hey, perfect. Iron. Uh, and electrical steel is silicon, right? That should be a quick craft. Okay, so if I'm not mistaken, you guys all to go together now. Do I not have an import bus on this guy? I must not, that's okay. That should be a pretty quick one, especially because we have Octodex in there, right? Cool, okay, so the VAT. So that gives us the ability to make that nutrient distribution stuff. Um, and we'll probably want that extra fluid tank. All right, so now, quest complete, good. Uh, so now we can do Killer Joe, right? Um, so what do we need here? We need some fused quartz. I think that's all we need for fused quartz. Um, and then the other thing we're gonna need is a Franken zombie, which is a soul vial of a zombie plus a Z-Logic controller. Two solarium, two silicon, redstone, and head. So zombie head, redstone, two solarium, if I have some cool, two silicon, cool. That will go into our slice and splice. 
Um, you guys are done here. You can probably be done. Cool. And then we need a soul vial. We have soul vials of shulkers, apparently. No idea where that came from. Um, but then we take this dude, and basically we want some kind of zombie. So even though I'm standing right here now, these things should spawn because curth cursed earth, right? Oh, hello. There was one. I'm spawning down here where I'm not looking. Realistically, I'd like you to spawn over here-ish. You know what I could do? I was hoping I could be quick. Active on redstone. Lots of skeletons. <laughs> Come on, zombies, let's let's go. This was supposed to be a very easy task that you're just making harder on yourselves. Gotcha. Always active. Okay, so then whoosh. Right up to here, for experience, and go. And then, we just need... Killer Joe. Ding! Nice, a killer friend. That's what's up. So that means that we've also completed the quest, besides a killer friend, We've completed the quest, dun dun dun, environmental technology. That's cool. So we have access to environmental tech now. Dun dun dun. Nice. So environmental tech will allow us to do void mining stuff, um, which will give us better access to diamonds. Um, what's the must complete line in here? I don't see one. Does this, does, does, does environmental tech not branch off anywhere? So this requires tier six void ore miner. Wow, RF tools requires a tier six void ore miner and tier six lunar array. <whistles> Holy cow, that is serious business. Okay, that is serious business, environmental tech. Did I just miss? Tier four, tier four, tier four. I don't see a tier six. Am I crazy? Do you see a quest for tier six? I see a tiers one through four for most things, but I don't see a tier six. Hmm. We'll have to see what happens when we uh, progress to environmental tech. But that's cool. So we can also. Um, so space is definitely one of the next things we're going to want to get to. Um, so to in order to lock um, advanced resources, which gives us better sky factory stuff, uh, we're going to want to visit space for sure, because uh, that needs large multi-blocks and digital storage, uh, which we can do digital storage stuff, but large multi-blocks definitely requires to space it beyond. So we have to visit Pluto um, and some things. So I'd like to, I think my next task will either be to get started. I think I should... I should kick off some environmental tech stuff. Because remember last time we played with environmental tech, um, we learned that um, these things are really slow and rare to get. Though I think we now access to crystal laser lenses, which shouldn't be too bad. Erodium, huh? That comes in the first tier, right? Yeah, so I can get some erodium. It'll take a while, but I'd like to set that up, make sure it's chunk loaded, let it be passive, and then we'll go explore space. How's that sound? All right, so I'm gonna call that an episode. Uh, we'll come back next time. Hey, what's up with you being offline? I have to investigate our power situation. I put a void thingy in here, so that should not be a problem. Do, 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 do. Y'all's got power, bro. 
what's uh what's up negative 28 rf well that's a thing <laughs> Interesting. Okay. Hello. I guess I'll troll you this a little bit off camera. Um This is weird. Uh, so we'll, we'll troubleshoot this a little bit off camera. We'll come back next episode. And uh, that's the plan, right? Uh, environmental tech followed by, you know, stuff and things. All right, Dial 20 signing off. Hope you guys enjoyed the episode. Take it easy.